Welcome back everybody to another rendition of Build Order Tutorials. This one's going to be a TVP specifically to be used on King Sejong Station. And it is a proxy, it's a cheese, it's an all-in. It can be fun to execute, but it is going to be a little bit difficult. Just really pay attention. Uh, so here we are, of course, going to do the audio run by of the tutorial and then talk about the points of the build afterwards. As always, start off with a supply depot first, basic stuff. Get your gas geyser at 15. Barracks at 16. Put your guys into gas. And then rally that 17th SCV to your proxy location. Your proxy location is going to be the base behind the rocks of your opponent. Factory at 20. An orbital. Supply depot and marine. Gas geyser. And keep producing marines and SCVs. Get a reactor on the barracks. Guys on gas. Factory is finished now. Should be getting a starport. And get wood of mines. You're going to get two of them. Get a 25 supply depot. Get your medevac at 35 and then build your supply depot probably a little bit sooner than that. At this point in time, you should be sending your marines across the map, and in fact, maybe even a little bit earlier, so that you can have a double whammy attack on their main and natural. After your two mines are done building, get a tech lab on your factory. Keep producing marines, keep producing SEVs. At around 3.30, you're going to wood mine drop. This is also going to be your scout, so keep that in mind. And you should be pushing with the marines to the natural again, maybe a little bit sooner. Produce another liberator from, or the first liberator rather, from that starport. Wood mine drop into the main base. And then send that medevac to the marines that you should be pushing with. Don't get supply locked. Be producing. Next up from your factory are going to be cyclones, so get at least two of those. At this point, start trying to break down the rocks. This drop should be trying to harass, and if not possible, it's going to help break down the rocks as well. Liberator should siege up the natural. Get another one. You probably should stop producing SCVs at this point because you're going to just get really, really oversaturated. But also at this point, you should have a good 
idea of what the Protoss is doing, Stargate, Twilight Council, Robo, that type of deal, and you should be able to kind of judge whether you feel safe putting down a command center or extra barracks. If you have the minerals for it and you need the position, getting a bunker here or a missile turret if they had gone Stargate is absolutely okay. After the two Cyclones, you're going to start building tanks. And again, either more production or a command center, depending on how you feel the game is going. Alright, let's talk about the build a little. So I already, if you had watched the other videos, you, you, you noticed that maybe I talked a little bit more about the non-Supply Depot timings during that whole segment, because it's actually kind of a complicated build and there's definitely a lot of things to know here. So first of all, talk about the strengths and weaknesses. The strengths, that is definitely a surprise, like any other cheese and proxy and whatnot. It abuses the map to hell. It can be good against most Protoss builds, so if they go for a Stargate, it's not really a hard counter. If they go for a Robo, it's not really a hard counter, stuff like that. Weaknesses, there's actually a lot of them. So it's really hard to execute, as any um, cheese proxy build will be, or even one base build in general. There's no defenses at home, so if they do manage to get some units across the map, then you could be in a world of hurt, so keep track of what they're doing, or try to at least, and notice if you have to keep the marines at home or build a bunker at home. This is map specific, obviously, so it really does try and abuse the back rocks, so definitely I suggest this for using on King Sejong, and it lacks scouting until the medevac pops out and you go for the wooden mine drop. So if they're proxying you, you ain't gonna see that and it's gonna get weird. All right, tips and tricks. The Wooden Mine Drop is your first scout, so pay attention to what the build they're going for. Stargate, Robo, Toilet Council, etc. Versus Stargates, get an engineering bay for defenses and a turret on the front line, as well as, of course, in your own mineral line as necessary. Versus a robotics uh, facility, or bay, I was, get those confused. Be careful of a War Prism counterattack. Um, as I said, you don't have a lot of defenses back at home, so that's when you're going to want to start rallying your marines back at home as opposed to forward. Scout for a Protoss third if the push is stalled. If it's taking a long time, and it probably will, it's not exactly a one-two punch here, you're going to want to make sure they didn't expand and are just giving up half of their economy and kind of trading you out for it, because you're on one base, you don't exactly have a strong one yourself. Only expand when you feel safe, preferably build the command center on the high ground, and I didn't do that, but I was facing an AI. So unless you really are sure you know what they're doing and they're all their armies back at uh, defending, then go for the high ground CC. If you're worried that you need production, which to be honest you probably will, then go for the extra two barracks first. Get that production up and then go for the command center and hope that your push is doing enough damage. And finally, as always, check out these professional game examples. There's actually not that many because this is a pretty rare build, but to know we saw it versus uh, Ngumiho versus Neeb in the Alima League, which is where I got the direct replay. You also would have seen uh, an edition of it in the GSL finals with Byun, but that's one of those examples where things got awkward because you don't really scout in the early game and SOS proxies targeted Byun as well. But you can kind of see the idea of what he was doing, even though it didn't really work out. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe, please press that thumbs up button, and please comment. Uh, if you didn't like it or you think that something needs to be changed, then also comment, of course, nicely, but especially with critique in mind. So, you know, lettering, uh, the formats, uh, anything really. Let me know if you can, can improve as you continue on making these build order tutorials. Additionally, if you have any build orders that you've always been curious about, what exactly is the build order? Uh, I'm, you know, I don't have access to replays myself, or I just, I would love for you to do it because I'm a little bit lazy. Uh, that's totally fine. I will definitely consider if enough people want a specific build order to do those before anything else. This includes Terran, Zerg, or Protoss. So just let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next week with another build order.